Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a snow generator blueprint. It's pretty much going to allow you to generate snow on static meshes in Unreal Engine 5. Now, you can do this with Substance Painter or a Quixel Mixer, but this right here, you don't need any necessary software. You just download it. Here we are in a little environment that I'm kind of trying to put together. All right, so the first thing we want to make sure is that since I imported this or migrated this blueprint to my own project, I'm going to have to make sure that the geometry script plugin is enabled so let's do that let's go to edit plugins as you can see right here geometry sc i have that enabled if it's not enabled it's not going to work so I'll close that out and i'm going to go back to my content browser and you're actually going to see this right here it's the snow generator it's going to come with a blueprint so what i'll do is i will drag and drop that blueprint to our scene and i'm going to press g so we can see the icon here Press W so I can kind of see what that is. But basically, that's it right there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is actually select the mesh that we want that blueprint to use whenever generating snow. So to do that, I'm going to click that snow generator and I'm going to scroll down until you see the mesh at snow to. I'm going to press plus and we're going to select this mesh right here. So you can see it's Tundra Mossy Boulder. And then after that, what I'll do is click on generate mesh cache. All right, so once that's done, make sure that snow it is enabled. And I'm going to change the grid spacing here to something like five. Again, mess around with your static mesh because you're not going to be using the same one that I'm using. But once that's done, this is going to do its thing. So just wait. Okay, so once that's finished, you're going to see that our mesh now is covered with some kind of material. If I scroll up right here, you're going to see what that material is. It's just the world grid material, which is the default. So if you want to change this to something else like snow, you can go to Quixel Bridge. I have it open right now. And you can just type snow. And you can download some surface snow in here, trampled snow. So I already downloaded this one right here. So if I minimize this, I'll go to content, mega scans, surfaces, and you can see trampled snow. And all we have to do here is drag and drop that material instance to that material slot, and then wait a couple of seconds. And that's pretty much it. Additionally, what we can do here is add a displacement to this snow. So if I go to the static mesh right here, and I'll select the static mesh to find where it's at, I actually included the displacement texture for this static mesh right here. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my blueprint now and scroll all the way down until you see the displacement texture. And I'm just going to drag and drop that texture right here. Now what that's going to do is apply that displacement to that snow, right? So as you can see there, it changed it a little bit. If I press G, now you're going to see that this static mesh is now covered with snow. Now, right now, this looks really clumpy. So I am actually trying to find a way to make it less clumpy, kind of like, you know, if it's just a fresh snow or something like that. So there are a lot of settings you can kind of mess around with in here. All right, so with that being said, that's pretty much it. Again, I am not affiliated with the person who created this. I just wanted to share this with you all, just in case you need to use something like this. If you all have any questions, let me know. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out.